Why, hello there everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Minasan, ohayo gozaimasu. And today we are doing a typical tarantula feeding. And honestly, when it comes to this type of content, I kind of forget that tarantula feeding videos is a thing. <laughs> because my channel specializes in breeding tarantulas and showing you guys the daily things or the typical things that I do as a tarantula breeder and not necessarily focus too much on updates and tarantula feedings. But I guess now is a good time to do one because it's been a while since the last tarantula feeding video here on this channel. So let us go. So I know it's been a while since the last tarantula feeding video. As a matter of fact, it's been a long while since the last tarantula feeding video. And I apologize for that. And the reason why is because I was uploading videos that more focuses on tarantula breeding, egg sacs, and that typical process. Not necessarily the typical, you know, the normal stuff such as tarantula feedings and rehouses. And, <laughs> and I know people want to see more of that stuff. But my niche on this channel, I guess, focuses more on tarantula breeding and what you do as a tarantula breeder. Not necessarily the typical stuff that most other tarantula YouTube channels do, such as, you know, like I stated, feedings and rehousing. Because I feel like that type of content is too easy to make, which honestly, I think anyone can do. So I really just do what I like to do, which is tarantula breeding and that aspect of the tarantula hobby, which is honestly very niche. And I guess that's why my channel is relatively small. But I honestly don't mind. As long as I enjoy making what I make, then it's honestly a win already. I don't know why people are saying that I should grow my channel even bigger. I'm just gonna let it do what it does. Like whatever happens, happens. Let us just enjoy the ride. So I'm slowly starting to get more emails from people or my viewers that are asking some simple questions. And honestly, I don't mind answering those simple questions. But I'm pretty sure you can find those answers on YouTube, on the Arachno boards, on Facebook pages, and other tarantula forums and whatnot. You don't necessarily need my validation, I guess. And also, another question people do ask me is, if I sell tarantulas, can I sell to somebody who's out of state? As in, not within my country, here in the United States. So for example, if someone lives in India, or if someone lives in Europe, and they want to buy from me, can I ship tarantulas to them? And the honest answer is no. The reason why is because I do not have import or export licenses or permits. And those are very expensive. And uh, I hate to break it to you, but I don't think that will ever happen for a long time. Because I do not have the funds necessary to actually get permits to export to import. And it's super expensive, time consuming, and requires a lot of papers, a lot of money, expenses, and they do charge based on the freight, the weight, and also the distance which you have to abide by. So some species or tarantulas in general may not be available in your country or allowed for that matter. So what I'm saying is that it's very expensive and it's very complicated. So uh, I apologize, but maybe someday in the future, let us hope that we can become a decent business or something, right? Where it's large enough to where I can actually afford to maybe sell to other countries. So if you have questions about tarantulas in general, especially things that are very niche or something big like the tarantula market, then by all means, feel free to contact me through my email. And yes, I do have a business email. I'll leave it right here for you guys. And for those who are wondering, it's literally just Laxo. Just switched around the words. <laughs> and uh, yeah... So that's my email, guys. It's just Alexa with the words switched around. That's how you do a business email, baby. <laughs> just switch the letters around and that's how you make a business email. And just throw in a period and some numbers and then there it goes. And while I am truly thankful for people who do send me some emails and whatnot, I do want people to refrain that if you're uh, trying to send emails that are literally just saying hello or things of that nature. I find that to be kind of strange because there's a reason why it's called a business email. Is usually for things revolving around business, so the tarantula market, breeding loans, or tarantula breeding in general, not to necessarily for having a casual chat. You can just leave comments in this YouTube video and I'll just reply to that. <laughs> so uh please don't don't send anything through my business email. If it's not anything specific in regards to tarantulas as a business, the market, or things of that nature. So let us jump right back into the tarantula feeding and let us talk about this. So when it comes to tarantula feeding, 
I usually don't necessarily have a schedule as to when I'll feed my tarantulas. I usually just look at their abdomens, and if it looks skinny, or if it looks relatively thin, then I know it's ready for a feed, or it could use some feedings in general. Now the typical rule for new beginners or to people who are relatively new to the tarantula hobby, usually they say slings every three days to a week, juveniles is every two weeks, and for adults is once a month. That's the typical rule for people who are new to the hobby or people who are still, you know, coming into the hobby. Now, if you're more experienced, you typically just eyeball it. So you feed according to the abdomen size. And that's how I approach tarantula feeding. And for every tarantula you see in this video, these are tarantulas I know that could use a feeding for sure. So I'm not feeding everything. So that's why you're not seeing a like three hour video because I'm just feeding the tarantulas I know that needs it. And it's strange to say this, but I think it's more common for tarantulas to be overfed than underfed. Because tarantulas have relatively, or actually, tarantulas have extremely slow metabolisms. So they can go a very long time without eating. You'll be surprised at how long they can go. I still have one of my Aphonopelma calcodes, the Arizona blonde, or the desert blonde tarantula, that hasn't been fed for over a year. And she is still fat. <laughs> so that just goes to show you how slow their metabolisms are. And one thing I would like to apologize for is that if this video comes out a little late, I apologize. This week has not been so a great week, honestly, for me. A lot of personal things have happened, but uh, I'm still hanging on. And I'm surprised that this video is coming out. And I didn't have time to edit this video the other day because I had work. So I'm editing this video pretty much last second. And I am taking my time on it because I do want to put out a really good video that I would like to watch. I don't like putting out videos that I don't like. So if I don't like it, I'm not going to post it. So I am putting in the effort for those who are wondering. So that's why this video may be a little bit late. But don't worry everyone, I got this under control. So just relax guys. It's not anything to panic about. So you don't have to worry about me. And uh, I promise you, I'm going to do fine. So maybe I should talk a little bit more about myself this week. So I am trying to audition for more voice acting work because I really want to have my break as a voice actor at some point. And I am still training physically as well because I am a stage actor as well, guys. And I also do dance instructing during the summer. So I do have to stay fit 24-7 pretty much. That's pretty much something I'm used to by this point. So don't stress out that I'm tired because I think I got those under wrap. But I would really like to actually have my role in some sort of voice acting work someday. So I am still auditioning and I really hope that one day somebody finds my talents. But uh, maybe that's for another time, right? And it is getting later towards the season, so tarantula breeding is going to slow down. So the real question is, what do I have in store for the future? And what do I plan to do when it comes to tarantula breeding? Because as of now, I really still have a lot of things I want to plan out. It's kind of surprising because remember everyone, I still have those Neoholothella Insay slings that I produced, which I separated those in last week's video. And I'll leave a video on the top right if you want to go check it out. So for next year's tarantula breeding projects, I don't necessarily have too much in mind. So I'm just going to see what comes, what goes, and see what happens. I may take next year off to slow down and just focus on the heart bacterial poker piece maybe. But honestly, at this point, it's anyone's call. So, let us wrap up around here. So without further ado guys, it's the typical, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. New videos every single Tuesday and Friday. Support me on Patreon and follow me on my social media. And with that, stay lax and laxo out from the Kumo Sensei.